Hi, this video is going to be a comparison between the original Neat King B and now the new one, which is the King B2. Now, this video is really just for me, but it could be helpful for you. I'm trying to decide which microphone I should keep. When I was looking to purchase the Neat King B1 used because it's been discontinued, the price on Guitar Center was $159, and that's probably the best price I've seen so far since it was discontinued and, you know, the price dropped to $100 to $130. But once everything was sold out, these microphones used went back up to the original price, $350. Sometimes it's off for $200, but $159, that's probably the cheapest I've seen um, in a while. And I don't look that often, but occasionally maybe once or twice uh, a month. Now, when I was looking up for the Neat King B1 and saw it on Guitar Center for $159, I also saw that they came out with a second version, the Neat King B2, and it was going to be priced for $169 or roughly $170. So, we had the Neat King B1, which was priced about $160, and the second one, which was going to be priced at $160. Now, when you compare about shipping and handling, and this was on Amazon, um, they were less than $10 in price. So at that point, I was like, all right, let's compare and see which microphone I'm going to prefer. And in that process, I can buy both of them, make this video, and help anybody who, you know, is trying to make that decision too. Now, I'm recording both of these microphones into an SSL2+, Plus, which is going into a Logic Pro uh, session. And that's my signal chain. I'm doing no post-processing, nothing like that. I might boost them up to, uh, you know, a loudness level of negative, or sorry, a loudness level of 16. That's about it. Now, I think when it comes to purchasing these two microphones, one thing that you want to think about other than um, the sound quality, a very small amount, the sound quality should be your main focus, but also the aesthetics. At the end of the day, you're going to be using this microphone. And if the microphone encourages you to use it, then it'll be more uh, worth your while in the long run. So let's talk about the aesthetics for a second. You can definitely tell that the Neat King B1 uh, ran with this name. It is very B-themed. You can see it's very yellow and B-like. Well, the second one definitely tones that down to, you know, I don't want to say look like a generic microphone. This is definitely not a ger generic looking microphone. But it's definitely toned down compared to the original one. It kind of, I mean, you can describe it as really like the, you know, a bee's needle that when it stings you. Or stinger. Is it the needle or the stinger? I think it's a stinger. So, this one looks like a bumblebee. This one looks like uh, the stinger of a bee. Uh, it could also kind of look like a hornet. But anyway, Neat King B1 and Neat King B2. I come down to preference actually kind of like the B theme. It's kind of refreshing compared to a lot of the microphones that are out there. It's flashy. It gives it characteristics and kind of says, you know what? Look at me. I'm unique. Um, the one thing I do like about uh, the original is the finish uh, of the black metal. I think it is. Yeah, I mean, it is metal. But it, it is um, it, more of a coarse uh, finish to it. And I, I like it. I'm going to touch the mic and I apologize. It's definitely uh, more rugged, I think. And this one's smooth. And I mean, also, there's a resonance to it. That's besides the point. I think my preference does not matter when it comes to aesthetics. I think they both look really nice. Um, the one thing I do not like about the new one is that the logo for uh, Neat, um, it's just an N, kind of like a circular disc slicing through it. And with the original Neat King B, it's yellow. Okay, that makes sense. B, yellow. Um, but the new one has like a an orangey kind of cut, which confuses me. I know the Neat King B was originally uh, its own company, uh, but then it was bought out by Turtle Beat, so maybe they're doing a rebranding. I don't know. I think I like the original one. This is a minor thing. I'm really just trying to talk and get some airtime between these two mics. 
Okay, now that we're done with the B aesthetics between these two, let's talk about buy and use and, you know, things to think about when you're purchasing these two. So if you find that these two uh, microphones are similarly priced like I did, you have to think about in the long term how these microphones are going to fare through, you know, the years. The new one is going to have a lot more support because it's new. Well, the old, you know, original King B is now discontinued. So finding replacement parts, um, talking to customer service for neat is going to be difficult. They're not going to have anything that's going to be able to repair. It. So, you know, if something goes wrong with this microphone, you're kind of, you know, out of luck. Well, the new one will probably have the support for a couple of years. Now, um, you know, if you're savvy enough that you can, you know, if it's all about the shock mount and you can fix that and you can work around that, then, you know, now it comes down to preference of the sound. But if the sound between these two are pretty similar, I think it's going to have to come down to, you know, which one's going to be the best for the long term. And the Knee King B2 is going to be that. It's going to have support. Is new. You're gonna able. You're gonna be able to find replacement parts. Well, the first one, you're not. So you gotta think about that when you're coming to purchase uh, the Neat King B one or the two. Um, yeah, and that that's about it. This is just a quick comparison between these two microphones. I really want to dive deeper in these before I actually return one. I, again, I'm gonna return one of these. Oops, sorry. And. Uh, yeah, which one sounds better to my voice? If you want more comparisons, I'm going to add some links for uh, reviews for Nick King B1 and 2. So, thank you guys. Uh, stay tuned for the reviews for both of these. Bye.